Hi guys, my name is Arsh Singh. I am pre-sales solutions engineer at Soft Solutions, and today we're going to cover Manage Engines AD Manager Plus. Our agenda for today: first, we'll go, we'll, we will have an um, overview of AD Manager Plus, where I'll tell you um, what the product is about and how it can benefit you, and then we'll look at the few um, features of uh, features that AD Manager Plus provides. For example, AD User Management, Help Desk Delegation, Workflow Automation, Mobile Apps um, available for AD Manager, and we'll finish it up with the additions available. Manually configuring the users and security permissions is extremely time-consuming, tiresome, and error-prone, particularly in large, complex Windows networks. Moreover, it is essential to have an in-depth knowledge about the Active Directory to accomplish these tasks. AD Manager Plus is a 100% web-based product that provides centralized administration and management of Windows Active Directory. With the help of AD Manager Plus, you can create bulk user accounts in Active Directory, modify the existing user accounts, properties including Exchange, Mailbox, and Terminal Services, generate and view granular reports of users, computers, groups like inactive users, disabled users, and so on and so forth. For users to be able to access to a domain and access the network resources, they must have a user account in Active Directory. Administrators shoulder the responsibility of creating user accounts in the Active Directory and also provide different privileges for users based on the needs of the organization. So let's go ahead and check out the AD Manager dashboard. So this is the AD Manager dashboard. From, uh, straight on the Home tab, we see um, there's a dashboard view for a particular domain. Uh, you can choose multiple domains if you have more than one. We see user reports in a very graphical manner, system reports, and other reports. On the right side, we see a few key points or key, um, a key buttons that take you straight to wherever you want to go, so it saves you time um, from going through these tabs. So let's jump straight to AD management. Seems like I need to log in again. There we go. So in AD management, you can create single user, multi, uh, bulk user accounts. We can modify single user, modify bulk users, um, and so on and so forth. So as you guys can see in the user management, we also have computer management, group management, contact, Office 365 management, and then we have so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and start with create single user. I will show you what it looks like. So this is very. Oh, this is exactly what you, how you uh, create a uh, user account in Active Directory. Everything you see over there in Microsoft Active Directory, we see it right here, but in a more uh, graphical way, in a more intuitive way. We can select multiple uh, as a domain we want to create the user in. If we have multiple domains. We can select the template for um, for our uh, content. We can copy user attributes from a different from an existing user, and we can create a new template. Currently, I'm logged in as an admin technician, so I have super rights over this. That's how. Uh, that's why I see all of these. However, you can delegate access to uh, different technicians and allow them to see particular. Um, tabs up there and, uh, and allow them uh, specific permissions to do specific things. So in general, again, your few details. We have account. You can set the random password. You can set your own password. User never um, password never expires. Like I said, similar details we see in oh, exactly the same details we see in Active Directory. Um, log on hours is a bit. Um, uh, it's a bit more GUI based over here. And then we have Exchange. While we're creating an Active Directory account, we can create a, a built-in Exchange account, which AD Manager picks up automatically if you are, have given your admin credentials. And if you have an external email address, then um, you can enter those details here as well. 
I have to go normal and then um, we also have Office 365 which is not visible right now so Office 365 so besides enabling to create new accounts AD manager what it does is it helps you well it helps you create new um, Office 365 account straight from this uh, single dashboard where you can create your AD user, Exchange user, uh, Exchange mailbox and Office 365 user. It also allows you to create Office 365 accounts for existing AD users. Further you can assign, revoke or replace the Office 365 licenses as required. You have the flexibility to copy the user properties from another user and or create multiple user templates to match your requirements. As you guys can see, this is very, very detailed and is very beneficial um, and it, it saves a lot of time. You can add your custom tabs as well, which I will go into um, just now. So currently we are under uh, create um, single user. If we have, if you were in the create bulk user, it would have been exactly the same thing. Uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and show that to you. Create bulk users. It looks exactly the same. However, the, there's an additional step, which is do you want to import from a CSV or add users? And add users exactly the same what we saw before. However, in this one, if we add, after we add one user, will ask us uh, give us another option to ask us, hey, do you want to add another user or not? Let's go ahead and create a new template. Okay, so this is where you can, this is where you create a template. So I'll just name it one, two, three, four. Um, I'll choose the domain, which is just uh, currently we only have one domain over here. So over here I can see I can pre-fill the details if I want for example employee ID description or office I can pre-build those or pre-fill those and I can save the template and next time somebody uses this template all that information will be automatically or by default filled. Uh, we save them a lot of time um, and um, less chances of human error. The cool thing about this you can enable drag and drop. So what you can do, this helps you to customize the template to a very, to a whole new level. For example, this if you do not want this initials um, uh, dialog box here, and I'm not sure, I'm, I believe we don't really fill that up at the, every single time we add a user, we can go ahead and delete it. We don't want to see it, it looks messy, it makes the screen look messy, we can go ahead and delete it. Uh, same with employee ID, if this doesn't, if this, uh, something that your company doesn't need, you can definitely go ahead and get rid of it. Um, you don't want to know the office, so you really want to just straight, uh, stick to the basics. Um, just want to uh, omit the first name, last name, logon name, um, full name, and that's about it. If you're only looking for that, uh, we'll leave the email. That's more important, and you don't want the web page. So as you can see, we can disable the things we do not want to see. So for template, I'll actually name it the webinar template. So for the webinar template, if we allow a uh, helpless technician to view this, uh, to add users and only specify this template, they will only see this information. So they, need, they don't need to worry about the rest of the stuff. However, if you do want to go ahead and add the employee ID, you can pretty much drag and drop it wherever you want. Let's leave it here. Do you want to make it mandatory, read only, or none? Let's make it mandatory. After, if you put a mandatory, it will have a little a red asterisk next to it, and you can change it to custom ID if you do, if you want that. And just go ahead and done. As you guys can see, there's custom ID, and we have a little red asterisk to it next to it, which means that it is important, and you cannot proceed without entering this. Again, we can go ahead and edit details, and this is available for all of these attributes. For account, if you do not want to see, if you, if you have pre-filled this um, account um, uh, attribute, so what we can do, we can make it invisible for the users. So for example, what I will do, I will go back to AD management, create single user, and I will choose a template which I created not too long ago, user creation template. If I go OK, as you, you will see all the rest of the tabs are gone and only few of the details are available here for me to fill. 
That's because all the rest of the tab's information is pre-filled. I do not need to worry about that. All the exchange, account details, Office 365 details are pre-filled. And I, all I want my technician to fill is this if they ever need to um, uh, create a new user, which does save a lot of time. Next we have is help desk delegation. This feature helps administrators to assign or delegate selected activities to non-administrative disk users. It is recommended to delegate admin administrative activities to help desk technicians. A help desk technician is a person who is entitled to perform the operations delegated by the administrator to increase the productivity and reduce the uh, administrator's uh, workload. Let's go ahead to the AD Delegation tab. So AD Manager plus Help Desk Delegation supports the administrator to focus on the matters that really do require the attention and delegate other tasks to dedicated Help Desk technicians. For example, the administrator can create a login for the, uh, for the HR personnel with the permission to create new users in the Active Directory. The HR personnel can log in and exercise only the delegated task of creating new users. In this way, the administrator can effectively delegate tasks to others as well as retain control on the Active Directory environment. So, over here, we see few of the helpless technicians. I am one of them and my privilege is super admin. However, over here, the HR associate, we see they are only allowed to create users. And currently they are disabled, and currently we are, uh, well, I am um, enabled. So let's jump first to help desk roles. So these are the uh, roles which are currently um, uh, assigned to the help desk technicians. So what I'll do, I'll jump to create new rule. As you guys can see, we have tons and tons of roles that we can delegate to our technicians. So if I want them to see the AD management tab up here and want them to do every single thing within it, I just need to take this and they won't be able to see AD reports, they won't be able to see the admin tab. And of course, if I only want them to create just single user, that's it. They will only be able to, so they will have a separate login to this dashboard, they will log into this dashboard, the only tab they will see is AD management. When they go into that tab, they will only see create single user. That's it. And similar with everything else. Office 365, if you only want them to allow add to existing license, replace license, or remove um, selected licenses, or create Office 365 accounts for 80 users, you just have to tick this, and that task, these tasks or roles will be delegated to those particular technicians. So if we go to administrator, to an administrator, you can choose, do you want them to see the home tab? Yes or no, workflow configuration, domain settings, and so on and so forth. And again, in the reports, if do you want them to allow, or do you want to, um, do you want them to see all the reports or generate reports? Let's go back to delegation. No, we do not want to save. So within a technician, so if I go edit a technician, so currently I'm editing Ron. So what in this case we have done is he's currently a super admin. He has access over all the OUs and he has access over the whole soft soul domain. So what we can do, I can go add OU and select the particular ones I want to give them, uh, give him access over. <clears throat> so if I just want them all the users, I can do that. Or if there's any other accounts down here, I can go ahead and do that as well. Same with super admin. Do I do I only want do I want to give him access over everything over this dashboard? or just create users or just modify computers. So it's very uh, granular sort of um, uh, delegation. Again, assign templates. Do you want, do you want, uh, should I assign? So this is the template I showed you guys. 
so if this only template is selected only he can only be able to use this template um, and same with file server and few more um, invisible groups if there are any Up next we have is admin order report. As an admin, I can see what my other uh, delegated uh, or my other helpless technicians are, have been up to. As you can see the action they've created, enabled, disabled, modified, they have done a few of the uh, tasks before, timings, and I can of course export this to um, CSV, PDF, Excel, HTML. The workflow feature in AD Manager Plus helps define a standardized workflow structure for your organization's everyday tasks that, that involve making changes on Active Directory information. Administrators assign administrative tasks to help these technicians for the ease of management, but meanwhile, they might want to keep a check on the tasks as they are being done. And this is where the workflow features comes handy. It allows an administrator help this technician or any designated user from the organization to raise a request for a task <clears throat> for a task to be done and get that task in for review, comment on or approved and executed respectively. Hence the administrator can retain the authority to keep a check on the process at any stage such as review, approve or execute while he still delegates. So let's jump onto the dashboard again and let's go over the workflow side. So as you guys can see within a workflow we have requester, it's the one who raises a request for a particular action. We have a reviewer, the one who accesses the request, weighs its pros and cons and offers recommendations. Approver, the one who possesses the authority to finalize an action and then we have the executor, the one who executes the approved action. So let's go ahead to the requesters. As you guys can see, I am one of the requesters. I can um, request pretty much every anything I want or anything as in create user, modify user, and so on and so forth. Then we have the reviewers. <laughs> I am part of the reviewers as well. Approvers, that's me as well, and executors, I'm part of that group as well. But of course, you can always go ahead and add, and you can add any of the helpless technicians as and uh, within a workflow. Request the roles. Okay, so we can go ahead and create new role as well and we can choose what sort of um, roles we want to assign to those particular technicians. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go ahead and create a request. Firstly, we'll go to all requests. There is no request available right now. No request is available. So let's go ahead and go create request. Okay, as you guys can see, there's multiple um, aspects we can create a request on. I'll just go single user creation. I'll keep it high as I want this user to be created urgently. I will choose the template, user creation template. So all the rest of the tabs are pre-filled. Um, John, John Andrews, and that's about it. That's filled. What I'll do, I'll go create a request. Please enter the subject field. Oops, seems like I forgot the subject field up here. Urgent, that's filled, that's filled, and create request. You guys can see a request has successfully been created and it has been successfully sent. So let's go back to the workflow tab and we'll see all requests. There is a one request which is urgent, raised by myself, and the status is open. Awaiting for review is one, waiting for approval is zero, awaiting for execution is zero. So what I can do, I can pop into the request as, uh, as you guys remember, I am the reviewer as well. I don't want to log out and log back in with different accounts. That's why I added myself into all of these groups. I delegated myself all of these tasks. I can go ahead um, and if I want to view object, I can see hey, what, what's, what this is all about. I can see, hey, it's John Andrews. If I, if I think it's okay, 
Let's go OK. And oops, let's go back to all requests. Pop the request open. And I can go ahead and see, hey, it looks OK to me. I'll go review. A few comments if I want to add on. And we'll just go OK. It's OK with me. We'll go back to all requests. <clears throat> all right. So right now, it's a waiting for review is zero and a waiting for approval is one. So it's the next, um, as a, as a approval, as I decide if it's okay to go ahead with this or not, I can go ahead and approve as well, and it looks okay with me as well. So I'll just go okay. You don't really have to add any comments, but I'm just doing them uh, for the sake of this uh, webinar. And then lastly, we have waiting for execution. So that's up to me as a technician. Do I really want to, uh, well, I don't really have a choice, but as it's been approved, now I have to go ahead and execute it. After I execute it, it will appear in the exchange, uh, Active Directory, Office 365, and all the um, attributes are filled in while I created the user. However, I do not want to go ahead and execute it. Um, and I will just go ahead and write no. Workflow canceled and request status is canceled. And there are no requests overdue. But however, I can go ahead and see all requests. I can see the ID 301 and 302. Um, this this is integratable with uh, Service Disk Plus and Service Now. Okay, let's go back to the presentation. So next we have is the automation feature. So the automation feature in AD Manager Plus redefines the implementation of Active Directory in a business organization. It lets you employ an automation or control employ an automation or controlled automation that carries out the repetitive or monotonous Active Directory tasks that are crucial to an organization's functioning. A task or sequence of tasks can be configured and scheduled to be executed at a pre-specified time or interval. Ironically, AD Manager Plus's automation does not completely deny you control over the task. Instead, its controlled automation feature can propel the automation through an already configured workflow, hence retaining control and accountability. So let's jump to the automation side of AD Manager Plus. Okay, so <clears throat> let's firstly go to automation policy. Okay, and what we'll do, we'll go ahead and create a new policy just for you guys to understand more. So let's just name it Webinar Policy. Um, what would we want to do? We want to do user automation. We have chosen a domain. Let's go ahead and select the task. We'll go create users. You can choose our template, user creation template, and just go ahead and save. So we've created a policy. Now let's go ahead and automation. So a few routines that can be automated within AD Manager Plus are AD user creation, group membership management, and AD cleanup. So let's go ahead and create a new automation. Again, uh, let's just name it webinar, we have user automation. What do we want to do? Do we want to select one of these tasks or do we want to select a policy? So within a task is custom script, move users, delete users, delete from group, move home folder. And then we have our policy. So I'll just select the webinar policy. Where do I want to import the data from? We can go Microsoft SQL Server, Oracle Database, or a CSV file. CSV file is very easy. So all you have to do is just enter the location of the CSV file. Do you want to implement a business workflow? If you tick this box, then again, it will go through the, uh, the reviewer, approval, and executioner. When do you want to run it? You can do it weekly, monthly, depending on uh, your business needs, you can choose the time and enable notification if there are any errors at the end. You can choose a custom email, SMS, or both. And just go save. So you can pretty much custom um, the users 
the, uh, you can custom create, uh, sorry, automate it, automatically create users with an AD, which is very, very handy. So if I go back to automation, when I say um, AD user creation, so what we can do here, we can provision user accounts in Active Directory, Office 365, Exchange, Sync for Business or Link, and G Suite simultaneously. If we come back to group membership management, oops, group membership management, what we can do here, we can, over here we can manage users' group memberships accurately with automation and user modification templates. These templates allow you to set up rules to auto-update users' group memberships based on specific conditions. And lastly, we have AD cleanup. So over here we can automate AD cleanup by using an automation policy to define when and in what order to clean up activities need to be performed. For example, configure an automation policy such that um, inactive users are disabled, then moved to another OU after X number of days and ultimately deleting after Y number of days, which is really, really handy. So over here we can see we can clean up AD if they're inactive for let's say 40 or 50, 60 days. Uh, you can um, disable them and if they're after Y number of days, let's say another 120 days, you can delete them. So all done automatically. You don't need to hire a special person and for um, your Active Directory clean. Your Active Directory stays clean, your forest always stays clean and up to date. Lastly, we have mobile app for AD Manager Plus. A free mobile app offers on-the-go Active Directory management and reporting and supports both Android and iOS platforms. The AD Manager Plus iOS and Android mobile apps, they give you the liberty to perform user computer management tasks on the go. So user management tasks like create users, enable, disable, unlock, or delete users, and even reset user passwords. And if we come down to computer management, excuse me, uh, you can reset computers, enable, disable, delete computers, or manage group memberships. I have a few screenshots for um, the mobile app of AD Manager Plus. The first one, we can see we have selected two users. So two users are selected and we can enable them if they're disabled, disable them if they're enabled, unlock them if they're locked, reset password, delete, or manage their group membership. So uh, if, we, if we go ahead with group membership, we come to this screen, <coughs> and this one, four users are selected. We can add them to particular groups, remove them from groups they already are in, and make their primary group. And on the right side, if we go dig into um, unlock user uh, by selecting few of them, we can make sure that all of this is a success, and if anything has failed, we can definitely go ahead and dig into it more. <clears throat> Whatever restrictions or permissions is set for a technician on the desktop application or the web-based dashboard, it will be applied for the actions he or she performs through the mobile app as well. For example, if a technician is not allowed to view the disabled user's report in the dashboard, he will not be able to view it from the mobile app either. Lastly, we have <clears throat> a few available editions. So AD Manager Plus is available in two editions, Standard and Professional. It is also available uh, as a free edition as well. AD Manager Plus licenses are annual subscriptions. Licenses are based on the number of domains and help desk technicians. For the free edition, um, you can manage up to one domain and 100 objects. Thank you for your time. If you guys have any technical query or a pricing question or would like another personalized product demo, you guys can reach us at sales at managengine.co.nz. Also check out our website www.managengine.co.nz and stay up to date with our latest blogs, forums and events. Thank you guys.